Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Factoring polynomials completely. Part 1. To factoring polynomials completely means sometimes we have common fact or we can have different uh, polynomials. Sometimes it's two terms, sometimes and three terms, sometimes four terms. Let's look at the example. Factoring completely for question 1 is 6x squared plus 4x minus 60. So this is a trinomial, but we look at the question, we find there is common factor with 6, 4, and 16. We need to, before we do factoring, we need to pull the common factor out. The common factor is 2. We pull out, we got 2 times x squared plus 2x is 3, 2x minus 8, right? Then 3x squared plus 2x minus 8 is the general form of trinomial. The coefficient is not 1. To do this kind of factoring, we need to multiply these two numbers, 3 with negative 8. 3, we copied the number we did, 3 with negative 8, we got negative 24. Then we try to use this number, these two numbers, as reference. We add them together, get the negative 5. First, we pay attention to the sign. We need a positive 2, but they got the negative 5. That means the big number has to be positive. That's why this is negative 3 plus 8, right? And we got positive 5. So we first get the sign is matching the question positive, positive. Then we found the add together because 1 is negative, 1 is positive. The add together get the positive 5, but we need the positive 2. That means these two numbers, the big, the difference between these two numbers, too big. We need to make this number smaller, make this number greater. We're not talking about negative, we're talking about absolute value. 3, make 3 a little bit greater, go to 4. 4 is divided by 24. 24 divided by 4 you call 6. So that's why 4 times 6 is 24. But now we need big number is positive, small number is negative. And this gives us positive 2 here. This is what we need. We found these two numbers. One is negative 4, the other positive 6. So we write this one is 3x squared minus 4x plus 6x, which is add together equal positive 2x, minus 8. We're grouping, put this together, 3x squared minus 4x plus 6x minus 8. Then pull common fact, 3 with 4, no common factor, x squared with x x is a common fact. We have 3x minus 4 and 6 with 8, the common factor is 2. We have 3x minus 4. So pull common factor with these. Again, 3x minus 4. So we still keep 2 here. We have 3x minus 4 as common fact and the x Two. This is solution. We don't need the multiply to go inside the bracket because we need the factoring completely. Any common fact need to be pulled out. This is the first question. The second question is 3x minus 1 bracket square minus 4x square. Obviously, you can see the pattern. This is square, this is square, this is square, and the minus. So which is apply 
a square minus b square formula. Still remember the difference of square is a plus b, a minus b. This formula is really, really useful, okay? Yeah, I think it's better to memorize. It's not every time you're looking for formula sheets, right? You don't have ID. And here is square, square minus. So we need to write 3x minus 1 square. They already give you. But the 4x square, we need to make 4 is 2 square and x square. And we can write this one into 2x bracket square, right? Again, square. So we have 3x minus 1 square minus this. And we can apply formula. In the formula, the a is 3x minus 1. This is a, the binomial whole thing is a. The b is 2x. Right? Then we just write this formula. A is this one. So we have 3x minus 1 is a plus b, b is 2x. Put the square brackets. And multiply a is 3x minus 1 minus b, which is 2x. And we can break down the bracket. We have 3x minus 1 plus 2x and 3x minus 1 minus 2x. Then combine the like terms. 3x plus 2x is 5x minus 1. The 3x minus 2x, you got the x minus 1. Yeah, this is the answer. You may have another idea. Say, okay, I expanded this one, then combine with 4x squared, then do factoring again. We don't need to use this formula, right? Yeah, this is true, but this way is much faster. And also, this is some question maybe is more complicated, and when you expand it, it's difficult if you do apply the a square minus the b square formula, that's easy. Okay? This one is presented by wise guys. Thank you.